Luella and I are so different. It didn't take long for me to discover that. Our very first vacation we took together. I was so excited. My view of vacation is it's a contest to see how many things that are within 20 miles that I can see in a given period of time. I do research. I make a list. Luella's idea of vacation has a lot to do with bed. <laughs> Long times in bed. Not really necessary for me to be in there with her. Uh, in fact, it's preferable if I'm not. Uh, Luella, on vacation, has never seen the glory of a sunrise. So this very first morning, I'm so excited, I, I woke her up at 6.30 a.m. I talked about looks last night. Oh, my goodness. She actually was deeply persuaded at that moment that she had married an insane human being. She lost all hope for our marriage. Who is this person? 6.30 I'm feeling at 6.30 the pressure of all the places that we need to see. And will we have time enough to see them? We need to get going. We need to get going. Luella's is feeling no pressure. She's feeling a beautiful pillow, a soft mattress. God is good. Or, or we'll, we'll go to one of, we'll go to a movie together. Something we do occasionally like to do. One of her movies. And in the middle of the movie, I hear Luella doing this. I don't know if you could hear that or not. She's sniffling. Now, she hasn't contracted the flu in the middle of the, the movie. She's having an emotional reaction to the film. About then, I'm thinking, these are the best raisinets ever. I can't wait till the film is over so I can find the manager of this theater. I want to find the source for those raisinets because I need those raisinets in my life. We're now walking out of the film. And we'll say, oh, Paul, wasn't that a wonderful film? I say, the raisinets. <laughs> Did you taste the raisinets? I would ask you this morning, how do you deal with the massive differences between you and your spouse? What do you do when you're confronted with this person is not like me, this person doesn't feel what I feel, this person doesn't think what I think? What's important to her is not important to me, or what's important to him is not important to me. How do you deal with the massive differences that you'll be confronted with almost every day. One will say something that will seem out there to you, but I want to explain it. Your ability, your willingness to deal with those differences with appreciation and grace is not rooted in your desire just to get along but it's rooted in worship. Let me say that again. Your ability to deal with the differences that you will be confronted with in your marriage is rooted in worship. I want to say this one more time because I want you to get it down. Your ability to deal with the differences that sometimes are discouraging, sometimes mess up moments, sometimes what you feel you can take for granted, you can't take for granted. What you think was easy, it's not be easy because you're not on the same page all the time. Those, your ability to deal with those differences with appreciation and grace is rooted in worship. 
Now, I want to be a, like a school teacher for a moment. If you're taking notes, physical notes, I want you to draw a triangle on your note page. Okay? Everybody do that. Kind of hard on your iPhone. At the top of the triangle, at the top point of the triangle, write creator. On the left lower corner, write sovereign. On the right hand corner, write savior. This will help you. Creator on the top, savior left, or sovereign left, savior right, and in the middle of the triangle, write worship. Now you want to understand why I'm going to ask you to do this, but I want to encourage you to do this. Go home, redo that triangle on a card or a blank piece of paper, and put that on the corner of the mirror you look in every morning or on your refrigerator. 